So in an earlier video, uh, I showed everybody how I like to super clean my windshields, and I made a comment that I preferred Turtle Wax over rain -X. And when I made that comment, I thought, you know, it might be pretty cool to do a little test and wax half my windshield with the uh, Turtle Wax, and then wax the other half with the rain -X. And then we'll test it going down a highway when it rains, and maybe we'll see a difference, or maybe one side will wear out quicker than the other, and we can determine if one way is indeed better than the other. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wax half of this car with the Turtle Wax, and, or at least the windshield, and then we're going to wax the other half of the windshield with the rain -X. Reading the bottle of the rain -X, and I decided to read it because years ago it didn't used to come in a spray bottle. It came in a little bottle that you dumped on your rag, and you applied it to your windshield, and you let it haze up, and then you went back with another, another cloth, and you basically polished it off just like you do wax. And reading the directions, it's still the same. You spray it in your, in your rag, and we're going to use a microfiber. And it says spray it kind of liberally like that. And then it says in small circular patterns, put it on your windshield. Now I've already cleaned my windshield. And my windshield's extremely clean because I did a super clean. You can look at my previous video and see that. And we're just doing these circular patterns. And we're leaving a little bit on it until it hazes up. Just like this. And you can see it dry. And it does leave a little bit of a haze. It's not nearly as bad as wax, but it's there. You can see it. You probably won't see it on the video but you can see it. And again, just apply a little more. Just put her on just like that. And keep working your way across the windshield. In this case, we're gonna do half of it because we're doing a little bit of a test. Now that we've done that once, the direction says do it again. So we're gonna do it again. And the final step, is to buff it off. Now it says you can apply some water and buff it off, and I've done a lot of reading on that, and people say that it doesn't really seem to matter. Well, some people say it doesn't. Most people say it doesn't. And uh, years ago, you used to just buff it off like we're doing now. So that's what we're going to do. And when we're done, this windshield is going to look very, very clean, and it's going to repel water, and it'll be pretty cool. When it rains, you won't even need your wipers, just as the advertisement claims. And then later we'll do a comparison and see which one holds up better and which one does a better job. Will it be the Turtle Wax or will it be rain -X? So what you're going to do is take your pad out of your can of wax and put just a little bit on it. You don't need a lot. Just kind of scrape it off like that. Okay. And then you're just going to rub it in little circles like this. And you don't need to work, work it too much, but you want to work it in a little bit. Okay, And I like to do it in little stripes like that. And when you start running out, get you a little bit more. Again, just kind of clean it off like that. And you're going to go over the whole windshield, just like this. And you're going to let it dry and haze up. And that's how you use turtle wax anyhow. You never wipe turtle wax off. You put it on, and you let it haze up, and then you buff it. And that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to work on this windshield, and then we'll come back and we'll buff it. So I've moved the camera just a little bit. Uh, to try to show you what this windshield looks like now that it's been waxed. And it'll have a haze on it, like you can see in the in the camera picture. And the secret to wax is you need to let it set up a little bit before you buff it off. And the way I tell that it's set up is I take my fingers and I just kind of drag it across the top of the wax. And if your fingers disturb it just a little bit, you really can't see it in a picture. But if it disturbs it a little bit, but you still leave wax underneath it, then we know that the wax is set up and it's ready to buff off. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a cloth out of the uh, microfiber pack and we're going to buff this off. And that's pretty much straightforward. You just take your rag and you go in little circles like this. And you just keep going across the windshield until the windshield is clean again. Typically I'll, I'll do about a yeah, half of the windshield and clean it up and polish it like this and then I'll flip the rag over and do it one more time and I'll be light on the second time. And you can't really see it in the camera again, but that glass is super clean under that corner. So it's the morning after and apparently it rained last night and you can see a difference already. The side that I did a wax on um, is pretty clear and the side that we did the rain -X on, it has beaded up. Um, and it would probably blow off driving down the road, uh, but there are still beads of water laying on the windshield. So we already see a difference between waxing and rain -X. So now we have a uh, nice rainy day, 
and I think I'm gonna have to eat a little bit of crow. The rain egg side is really clear and the rain beads are really tiny, which I think is the key here. They're very small and the, uh, the wind kind of blows them up and over the windshield and you can see right through them pretty easily. On the driver's side, it's still beating up and running off the windshield, but uh, not clear, nearly as fast as the rain X. And uh, I think what's going on is the beads are, are much larger and it's not breaking up like it is on the rain X side. So yeah, it works. Uh, but uh, to my surprise, rain X is actually working a lot better. So Rain-X versus Wax, Wax loses. Pretty cool, huh?